Hi, I listen to quite a lot of audiobooks and I think I get something different out of them than I do from paper books or from e-books. Listening to audiobooks is a different experience to um, reading but has its own value. I think the um, Twitter interaction with Neil Gaiman really sums it up. Reading is is consuming stories in whatever way you consume them. Audiobooks give access to anyone who has a reason for not being able to read paper books. Whether it's because you physically cannot see the words or reading by sight becomes very tiring. And sometimes... For attention and concentration, listening works better than reading um, with the eye. I've been purchasing audiobooks using Audible, uh, the app from Amazon, for many years now. And they haven't sponsored me to say this, but um, I found it a really good catalogue of audiobooks. Previously, I used a lot of uh, CDs and, and before that, cassettes. My mum uses Calibra. That's a um, designed for anyone with a print disability. And um, they used to send the stories out on uh, memory sticks, but now they can just be downloaded. And there's so much choice, including all the World Book Day books. And public libraries use Lib- LibriVox to provide um, audiobooks from the library catalogues instead of all those cassettes and CDs. So I thought I'd look at five of the audiobooks I've listened to most recently and talk about some of the reasons why listening to them as audiobooks had a power that um, reading them as paper books or ebooks would not have had. The first is Promise Boys. And this is a um, a young adult story about a series of boys dealing with the aftermath of the murder of their head teacher. The different viewpoints were told um, using different narrators, which really brought an immediacy to the story. By looking at the story through different eyes and the different voices bringing those different voices to life really helped me to follow the story and enjoy it. The Silent Suspect by Nell Patterson uses two voices. The main um, narrator telling the story from Paige's viewpoint and another voice, Claire Louise English, who tells the real events that even though um, Paige has not discovered them yet. The two voices give you a very clear distinction between the real events and what Paige is finding out. The reader for Carl Miller, Megan F- um, Fellows, was a really interesting choice. I really liked the way her her voice gave the innocence of the main character. However, because she had a slight American accent, it somehow felt a little bit disjointed from the story set in um, Europe. For a murder mystery like um, Holy Hell by Elizabeth Sims, having a voice that told the story in an authentic way was really important. Um, The American voice really gave a realistic feel to this. One of my favourite things about audiobooks is when it's the author reading their own work. And I think Life on Earth by David Attenborough could only have worked with David Attenborough reading it himself. His voice has an authenticity and an authority that really can't be beaten. So, is there a book that you have enjoyed more as an audiobook than as a print book? Are there um, narrators that you prefer? Please make comments down below. It's always very good to hear from you. Thank you so much for listening to my ideas on audiobooks. 
hope to see you again soon. Bye.